The following tutorial is brought to you by WholeLoops.com. It's production time. I'm Reed Stefan, realist puppet in the game. Today, I'm showing you how to make a lo-fi hip hop beat using Ableton. So the first thing that I like to do is start with a nice slow tempo because lo-fi hip hop is chill to the max. So let's jump through some guitar samples maybe. I think I'd like to find a nice electric guitar, maybe a major one. Well, these are nice. I'm gonna drag this in. Let's turn our loop. That sounded smooth already. Let's see what other guitars we have in this pack. That sounds cool. It's a little bit high pitched, but we can work with it. And this will be our second guitar. Maybe to make this lower, let's try half time. Now to help these vibe a little bit more, I think I'm gonna add some reverb. Maybe some chorus to this. And whenever I have two guitars going at the same time, I like to pan them a little bit. So let's send this one 15 this way, minus 15 this way. We're just gonna do some slight panning. Let's see, I think another melodic element might be cool. I like making things out of samples. I think that's just a lot easier. And sampling is really the essence of hip hop, especially lo-fi hip hop. So let's just keep this vibe going with some whole loop samples, maybe a vocal sample pack, some male vocals. Let's get some dry ones. Yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. Let's start dropping that in here and see what we think. Well, wow. A minor, E minor. That's weird. They're not supposed to work, but I guess strangely they do. And then I just want to add a plug into it, maybe a little Alter Boy to do some format shifting. Just so these sound a little bit weird. Let's try a little Alter Boy and we're going to automate the format knob. That's more like it. So maybe it'll just go like this and then back down. And then back down. And then we could just duplicate this. And I also like to automate this knob too. So when the drums come in right there, it goes up an octave. And then it can go down an octave right here. And let's just get this saucing with some OTT. just some echoes too and then I think we can move on to the drums oh and we need to automate this too so this is gonna go up too Oops, maybe not quite that high and then the loop starts over right there automation loops are my sauce We just did some inversion. We could do some input gain. This is actually hits the drive a little bit and then we'll turn this down. So 
the next thing I want to do is some real slow panning to help these, just like we pan the guitars. Since this sound is just on its own, we're going to have them pan left and right instead of panning one left and one right. We're going to do some zigzags this way too. This might be cool, just like this. And then this can go back up over time. And maybe we'll just keep it going like this. Boom. And maybe not so high on the wet dry. Now, before we do our drums, I wanna add a little bit more character to all of these together. I'm just gonna drag Lo-Fi Sauce, which is 100% stock Ableton plugins, to create vintage colors and tones. So let's start out with some filtering and dial in the perfect settings to make this intro feel like an intro. So we're gonna automate this too. I think right there is where the drums are gonna come in. So we're gonna have this open up and this open up too. But we're gonna have this one go slow. And now the next control we have here is wobble. And this is gonna be modulating the pitch of our entire track because we put it down on the master channel. Or we can speed it up. I like somewhere around five. Let's add some tape harmonics to it. Lo-fi is some bit reduction. And of course, vinyl crackle. And then a resonance sweep to create a really cool lo-fi effect. Your 808s sound like floppy trash? Are you tired of boring bass lines that just don't hit right? Introducing Disrespectful 808s, the all new collection of 808 bass samples so disrespectful you might just get offended too. Disrespectful 808s is available now only at holoops.com. Let's finish out this beat and produce some drums. So the first thing I'd like to do is pick out some hat loops. So I'm gonna hop into whole loops, raw hits one, and let's check out the dirty hat loops because these are gonna be perfect for this. Perfect vibe for what we're going for. This one has a cool texture too. So let's take these two. Now when I warp drums, I really like to use the beats mode because this does a really cool slicing thing. Let's try just checking out what we have here first. See how we were able to just shorten it? We can even take just the quarter note slice. And we even just took the first half of the loop too. So this could be our hat one, and this will just play some quarter notes, keeping it super chill. And let's warp this to be the original tempo, which is 100. So now that we've got our swing started, this is gonna be a great place to add some kicks and snares. So let's check out Raw Hits 2 for a snare drum. Well, this snare is actually pretty cool. And let's just copy this around. And let's put a kick drum in here. I think I'm gonna take a kick from Urban Beats 4. They got some real disrespectful ones. And now I think the big thing is a gap. Like that. And to make a swung kick, I literally just placed it anywhere and decided if I liked it or not. And I liked it. <laughs> I 
and to take this and and let's loop this around and see if we just made the fattest lo-fi kick loop on earth. So the next really important thing to do is to sidechain the rest of your sounds to your kick and snare. So I'm gonna grab the Ableton compressor, drop it here, and let's open this up and sidechain it to our kick. And let's drop it here and sidechain this to our snare. And bring this down. And I might even increase the release a little bit so it increases the length that the volume is ducked down for. And we're gonna copy and paste. And there's your kick and your snare bumping through. And let's do some snare fills right here. Quick one right here before it. Maybe even a reverse one. Yeah. Hey. Let's also not have these hi hats start until the beat starts. Let's see if we can dig up some more effects to put in here. Let's go drum kits, effects. Let's drop this right in here at the end. I think these little transitions are subtle, but very helpful. Let's try this one in the beginning too. I think I might actually take these drums, group them up, and drop drum sauce here on all the drums. That's more like it. And I actually really like having the lo-fi sauce here on the master because we're getting the wobble going on not just the melodic instruments, but the percussion instruments too, which makes a difference. So I just wanna play this one last time and we'll turn the lo-fi sauce on and off so you could hear the difference. Hey. Might even pan these hi-hats a little bit too. So there you have it, my guide to making a quick lo-fi hip-hop beat in Ableton. If you want to check out lo-fi sauce for yourself, preset is available now at wholeloops.com along with all the other loops and samples and drum sauce that you saw in this tutorial. So thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys next time in another video. Peace out.